Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. Last time, we punched the guy in the face when flying off of a uh, deck. And now we are in the middle of nowhere. Uh, let's see, can I go over here? Is there, is there anything of interest over here? I don't think so, right? No. Yeah, this is death. Okay, so let's see, which way do I go? Do I go this way? I th I'm going to jump down. If I die, I die. And I got very hurt I didn't die, though. See? Hmm. I think we're, uh, well, I can see bad guys right there. But, before that, we're going to go this way. Because I think there's something over here. And if I'm wrong, well, <laughs> too fucking bad. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, you know what? This is the way we were supposed to get down here. I just jumped down and lost like half my health. This is the way we were supposed to... <sighs> see, I'm smart. Okay. That was scary. <laughs> At least we have like full ammo for this thing. So now, the way that you're going to be able to see the bear traps is they're going to be like little glowing things like that when you put their light on. I mean, you're going to actually be able to see the bear trap, too. It's just that they're going to be, like, glowing. So I see, like, look, now we're just going to try to avoid all these things. I believe if you get hit, they do, like, a lot of damage. They stun you. They keep you in place for a heck of a lot of time. And I believe, I believe, enemies pop out if, if you get hit by one. So you do not want to get in those things. Uh, I don't think it's an insta-death trap, but, I mean, you know, you probably don't want to be hit by those things anyways. Uh, anything over here now? Okay. I kind of find it funny how the dark force or power, or whatever, I don't think we've established that yet, can destroy, like, entire buildings. Okay! Wow! Uh, Flare... We are getting the fuck out of here. That's bullshit. Okay, moving on. Manuscript page. I believe there's a shotgun. Nope, hunting rifle. I'll take it. What is this? We got a coffee thermos over here. Okay. Can I turn the power on now, please? Ta-da! Okay, so I guess actually trying to turn that on might have actually made that a little bit easier, but 
We don't do things the easy way around here. We don't do no half-ass jobs. Well, okay, moving on. Uh, flare. What I was saying before was I found it funny how the dark force or presence or whatever uh, can destroy, like, entire buildings, but when we walk off little precarious logs that are just dangling over crevices, you know, they, it, it happens to not destroy them. I was saying, why was that so easy? I'm using my freaking hunting rifle, which I do not want to be using. I don't think there's any bonuses for getting headshots. I'm not even sure if it's actually possible to explicitly aim for the head. Um, I mean, I imagine you can probably aim really good for the head. I, I don't think that, you know, the headshot, like the actual idea of a headshot was like a feature in this game. Huh. <sighs> Excuse me. Okay. Wow, I thought you were a little farther away. Can I shoot that? What happens if I shoot that? Nothing. Two bullets down the drain. That's that's what happens. Reach the top of the mill. Okay. Um, okay, that's nice. Oh, am I actually supposed to continue this way? I am indeed. Oh, that's the dark ooze shit, okay. Uh, revolver ammo, give me. I'm destroying you just because you hurt me. So, as you can see, I have, like less than half of my health left and uh, I actually reached the safe haven there before your health does regenerate it's just really really slow and oftentimes it's better to just kind of run for the next safe haven than to just you know kind of wait it out did I hit more goo? holy shit how much of the shit is there? okay I hope there was actually a reward for coming over here because I don't believe this is the right way to go oh a manuscript page I'll take it I'll take it. I'm not going to be getting any achievements for them or something. If I did, I probably already have them, but, you know. What can you do? Uh, we can kick that. Kick it. Kick it! There you go. Look at that. That's freaking Silent Hill level puzzle solving right there. Can I, can I make this jump? Of course I can. Another manuscript page. We're so good at this game. This game is nothing. Hmm. <laughs> More flares, always welcome. Oh, uh, this is where we came from. Uh, uh -huh, see, I see a ladder. Yeah. Again, I kind of apologize, because there's not a whole lot to talk about with this game. Uh, I mean... Scary little not not really scary kind of it's more like a game it kind of like just makes you think it's, I don't really call it scary per se <laughs> okay so it sounds like there's someone inside of my house uh <laughs> there's someone in my house no I think it's like my mom or someone so I be, uh, be, uh, I apologize for any background noise at the moment can I kill you oh well you're you're angry angry mode now see for this, I'm gonna pull out the hunting rifle. 
so I can one-shot him with it. The darkness wears her face. Ugh. I do not want to know the details of uh, that. I'm now see. Uh, there's a manuscript page in there, and I want it. Uh, can we go this way? Come on, go, go! Oh my God. Oh, do I have to climb over? Yeah, I have to climb over, but we can pick up a hunting rifle. Some more ammo for that. Yeah, we can just climb over this stuff, because we're friggin' athletic as shit. Now, let me guess, now there's gonna be random enemies everywhere that we have to friggin' fight. I want to re reload this. Or not. You really have to reload this one at a fucking time? Okay, there we go. Back to the revolver. I was hoping that we meet up back with Barry in this part, but it does not look like we are. Again, uh, we have a couple more minutes. We only at 11 minutes. I don't have to. I don't have to stop at exactly 15 or 14 or whatever I've been stopping at lately. No, oh, yeah, for this, we're going to switch to the hunting rifle. <clears throat> I don't really see a point in flaring up, just because they move really, really slow. And we can one-shot them with the hunting rifle. So, that's the way I think, at least. <clears throat> so, again, apologize if there's any background noise that you can hear. Uh, it's probably just people talking. I hope it's not too loud, because I can, I can hear it, uh, not very easily. I, I can just, I can just, you know, I can hear it. It's just kind of annoying that it's there. It seems like, oh, more revolver, and I want that. Oh, no, item limit reached, okay. Uh, it just kind of seems like every time I, uh, attempt to record, people have to fucking talk or do something. Indeed it is, and he's gonna come right through here, isn't he? Yep. Okay, now, he has a chainsaw. Okay, so now, this is what I was talking about. See the orange? Okay, well, let me kill these guys first. See how that guy has an orange outline when you put a normal light on him? Where the fuck did he go? That basically means two things. One, you have to boost him for his light to go away. And two, if you don't boost him, his light will return. However, flares are a very good way of doing this. He's very slow, and you can just kind of boost away. And this is actually one of the few situations where I will actually recommend using batteries to boost, and then battery, and then boost. Uh, just because of the fact that if you don't do it, that guy will not die. His, his shield will keep on returning. It will not go away unless you boost or have a flare or something. In fact, I think even the flare gun and flashbangs, even, um... Don't do anything. <clears throat> so actually, I believe. Oh yeah, we. This this part is going to be slightly longer. We can actually continue this here. Okay. Apologize for that background noise. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies.
That's not creepy at all. Okay, so remember when I said that we were actually going to continue? Uh, okay. Well, first I'm going to kill this person. Uh, and then I'm going to pause right here because we just hit a checkpoint. And I'm going to end it right there. So, uh, yes. Uh, that was Alan Wake, part 8. Uh, next time we will meet back up with Barry and, uh, do other things. So, uh, until then, I will see ya.